Welcome to Making with Laz. And in today's episode, we are working on making a custom dust separator mount for a DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum. And here is the DeWalt Stealth Sonic vacuum that we will be using, as well as our Home Depot bucket and dust separator, along with a two and a half inch flexible hose that's mainly used for dust collection. So what we're gonna be doing is making a custom mount that attaches to it and we're going to try to make a clamp that goes around the bucket and gets located between those two posts there so here is our on shape model that we're using so on the bottom here we have the bottom dimer that we measured and then above it we have a plane offset by the 50 millimeters and then lofted together and we have our little angled piece that we're going to be using to actually measure it so when we take a, our measurement here it's a little bit too small to get with our calipers so we'll use a piece of paper and measure that and adjust our model accordingly. So here's our model slightly more figured out. So we have our bucket in there, which is the blue piece. And then we have our two little clamping spots there, as well as our locating feature. So the first thing we're gonna do is take the locating feature and see how well it fits. So looking at it, it fits in there, but it's a little bit too short. So we're gonna have to add a little bit of an extra piece. So the other thing we're gonna check is the bottom dimension to make sure the width is long enough. So we're gonna take this little piece right here and export it and check that out as well. So we're locating between those two posts there. So sliding that in, it looks like it is a pretty solid fit. So it looks like we got that in our first go. And here we have our final on shape assembly. So we still have our original bucket for reference. Then on the two sides, we still have our spots for our bolts to go as well as our nuts in the back. So we have our two positions there. Then rotating this guy to the bottom, we have a spot here as well as a spot over here where two bolts are gonna be used as studs. And then we have two spots there where we'll, we're gonna have two nuts go into. And those correspond with these two spots on the L pieces, which will have a bolt thread through. And on the two spots on the top here, we will have a nut tighten everything down. So we'll have four points of contact. So now we're gonna get all of our parts from the bamboo machine. So we have the two L pieces printed on the P1S and I drop them over there. Next up, we're gonna get the two bigger pieces from the X1 carbon. So we got those right there. And then now that we have all of our 3D printed parts, we're gonna to need to go get ourselves some hardware. So we're gonna grab ourselves the magical bin of hardware full of Imperial hardware. So we're gonna get ourselves four one inch long bolts, as well as a couple one and a half inch ones, as well as a bunch of quarter 20 hex nuts. Let's try the YouTube snap. So we got everything that we need. So we're gonna start by putting the plastic pieces around the bucket making sure that we're putting it the right way. And then we're gonna grab ourselves our bolts, put it all together. And then now it's gonna be ready to assemble onto the dust collector itself. So here we have our vacuum. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up the bucket and line it up with the top of it. So let's get that going here. So we're gonna lift that into place, slide it forward. Everything looks to be fitting nicely as we wanted to. Now all we need to do is grab ourselves our L brackets and tighten those all down. So let's get that going real quick. Put them on backwards for a second there. Now they're in the right spot. So now let's speed through putting on all these bolts and nuts. So we got our two bolts in the front. Then now we have our two nuts on the top. And as a final test, we'll give it a little bit of a wobble and shake, make sure it doesn't fall. The bucket itself is kind of loose, but that's just the bucket itself. And then here we have it, our final project. So overall, nice and sturdy, and it should be doing what we want. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like the files, please leave a comment and I will upload them to Maker World or one of the other uh, Maker Spaces. And I hope you join me next time when we make a custom hose mount for the DeWalt Stelsonic vacuum or just any vacuum in general. I'll see you then. Have a good one.